We begin with breaking news tonight. A wildfire in Clark County forcing evacuations north of La Center. Crews working to put out the flames as smoke billows throughout the area. Now at 10, keeping an eye on that fast moving fire on this hot and dry evening. I'm Elizabeth Din. This started as a fire at a home on Drenny Creek Road. You see it on the map right here. And this is where it spread quickly into surrounding trees. And now we want to give you a look at evacuation orders in this area that I'm talking about. So the initial evacuation area that was within a half mile of Jenny Creek Road that did affect 17 homes, but then it was later expanded to a mile because of some spot fires. So a portion of the center now under level two orders, meaning residents will need to be ready to leave at a moment's notice overnight. And now let's get to our Jamie Seymour live in the center. And Jamie, what are we learning about this fire tonight? What is the situation? Liz, we actually just got an update from fire officials and those evacuation orders that were announced earlier this evening. Those will likely stay in place through the night as crews continue to battle this fire, which, as you mentioned, originally started as a house fire and then quickly moved up into the forested hill. As of right now, that mile radius around 370th and Jenny Creek Road remains under a level three go now evacuation order, while a three quarter mile radius around La Center High School is in a level two be ready to go order. According to fire officials, it's still unclear just how many structures are threatened, but they estimate the fire to be about 32 acres and it's around 5% Contained as of tonight. Multiple agencies from the Southwest Washington quickly responded as helicopters even lowered into the nearby East Fork Lewis River to get water for drops over that fire. Officials say neighbors in the area were also quick to respond and make their own fire prevention efforts, saving others. We did have a, a neighbor off of North, Northeast North Fork Avenue that um, got his private tractor out and and uh, was able to disc a, quite a bit of area to stop the put in a basically a fire line for us and that saved several structures. So far crews aren't aware of any injuries and say some nearby residents have even taken in others pets or livestock while the ALNA resort nearby is also serving as a spot for evacuees overnight to go. The house fire that initially started this is under investigation in Crusade. That was a total loss as well as a barn on the property, but it appears other structures in the area have likely been saved so far, but we will know more about that in the morning again as these hot dry conditions continue that will be top of mind overnight and into tomorrow. So as we get any new information, we'll continue to keep you informed here on air and online on coin.com reporting live in the center. Jamie Seymour, Quinn six news. Jamie, thank you.